Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. So in this video, I will cover two topics, how to convert torch.tensor to NumPy NDRA and what is the relation between the NDRA of a NumPy and a tensor in torch. So first to start with, I am defining a simple tensor that contains just two values, one and two. And this tensor also has recourse grad set to true, which is a property of a tensor in PyTorch. And then I'm just printing it, the tensor and also the type of this tensor and this is what I get after printing the tensor is 1 2 recourse grad is true class is torch dot tensor now this tensor 1 I want to convert to a numpy array so let's do uh, uh, the obvious code that may come to your mind that you just take this tensor and uh, do a dot numpy on this and let's run and see what I get and I got an error it said can't call numpy on tensor that requires grad use tensor dot detach dot numpy instead so let's just do what uh, this error itself is advising that use to tensor dot detach dot numpy instead that is i have to bring in this new method called detach and now this is my code just um the addition is just this detach method and then print the tensor and also the type of it and running this cell now it ran just fine and what I'm getting is that the type right now is uh, np.ndarray so previously it was a torch.tensor now it has got converted to np.ndarray and how it happened with this detach method uh, I call this detach method first and then on top of that I called numpy now here is sorry now here is explanation that the point to understand here is the difference between a torch.tensor and np.ndarray. While both objects are used to store in dimensional matrices, torch.tensor has an additional layer which is uh, storing the computational graph leading to the associated in dimensional matrix. So these uh, torch.tensor are designed to be used in the context of a gradient descent optimization and therefore they hold not only a tensor with the numeric values but and actually more importantly they also hold the computational graph leading to these values this computational graph is then used uh, with chain rule of derivatives to compute the derivative of the loss function with respect to each of the independent variables used to compute the loss but the problem is np.nd array what we are converting here np.nd array does not have this computational graph layer and therefore when converting a torch.tensor to np.nd array you must explicitly remove the computational graph of the tensor using this detach method now Another question that may comes to come come to mind that without using the detach method, what exactly happening? Why does it break the graph to move to NumPy? Is it because any operation on the NumPy array which will not be tracked in the auto div graph? And the answer is indeed yes. If I directly try to convert a torch.tensor to np.nd array, the new tensor will not be connected to the old tensor through a grad function that is gradient function and so any operation on the new tensor will not carry gradients back to the old tensor so that's why i'm writing these detach method so writing uh, this tensor dot detach dot numpy is simply saying that i am going to do some non tracked computational computations based on the value of this tensor in a numpy array so detach will stop the tensor from tracking history by detaching it from the computational history and to prevent future computation from being tracked as well. However, if you wish for some reason to use PyTorch only for mathematical operations without the back propagation that is without the computational graph or gradient calculation methodologies, you can use uh, the torch.nograd context manager in which case computational graphs are not created and torch.tensor and np.ndrs can be used interchangeably let's see with an example 
here this is my example so at the very top line i'm just setting the context manager torch dot no grad which will stop the gradient calculation with so my computational graph will not be created that layer will not be attached to my torch dot tensor and now let's run this code otherwise so except for this line the rest of the codes is just simple exactly what i did at the very first step that i'm here i'm not using using detach method at all so i am just creating a tensor and then i'm converting this tensor directly to numpy without the use of the detach method and let's see if it runs correctly and indeed so originally my tensor was a torch dot tensor as you can see from this line uh, it is output of this line print type of tensor one and then i converted this tensor one to a numpy and i'm printing this type of tensor one at the end and now my original torch dot tensor got converted to np dot ndra without the use of the detach method because i have torch dot no grad context manager set at the top so in this case np.ndra and torch.tensor they are pretty much the same thing and that pretty much wraps up this video and over the coming days i will do many such videos on common techniques and tips of pytorch while doing deep learning projects so do subscribe and smash the like button thank you for watching see you in the next one